Right in here, Kevin. Here's the really old water heater. Oh, yeah. Well, you did pretty well, John, getting 17 years out of any glass line water heater. Now, an electric water heater is a popular choice in America for its convenience. It doesn't have any venting. It doesn't need any fuel storage. All you got to do is run a wire like this. This is 220 volts to this glass line steel tank. Now, to heat the water, there are two elements, one at the top, one at the bottom. The elements look like this when they're new. It's an immersion-style element that sits right inside the water, and it has a relatively high amount of power, 4,500 watts. Now, that's what it looks like when it's new. What happens over time is they can get caked with calcium and hardness in the water. When that happens, it can be less sufficient. Less heat leaves the element and gets to the water. And if it gets too caked up, it can look like this, and it can Oof. break right off. Yeah. Richard, I've replaced those twice in seven years. Okay. So you are definitely in the market for a new water heater. An efficient one would be good. All right. Well, we are going to show you a new and efficient way to make hot water using electricity. All right, boys. Here is our new electric water heater. It's a glass lined steel tank, and it has heating elements top and bottom. But these elements will only be used as a backup. The actual heating of the water principally will be done using this, a heat pump. Now we know what a heat pump is, we might know it by different names. It's really just a basic air conditioner. And all an air conditioner does is transfer heat from one place to another. In this case, we're going to take the heat that's in the air around us. And we're going to pump it across using these fans, this coil right here. Inside this coil there is refrigerant that's very cold. Mm -hmm. The heat in the air gets absorbed into the refrigerant right here. Now it comes to this point and the compressor comes on. And when it compresses that refrigerant, it gets even hotter. Now, down through coils that are down inside the tank, the heat that's in those coils is transferred to the water, and you heat the water. The refrigerant returns over here, gets cold again, and the yeah. cycle repeats. So we're actually just using the warm air to heat the water. Absolutely. You mean to tell me all this on top is more efficient than those two elements? No question. This element right here is 4,500 watts. To run this compressor is about 700 watts. And it'll be on longer than that element, but it's much more efficient. This unit will use less than half of that conventional electric water heater. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, so let's get the old one out. All right. Let's go. All right, guys, I think I'd like to change those shutoff valves while we're here. So, John, why don't you go find the water main and shut it off for me? Sure. Kevin, just pull that breaker so that we can kill the electric. Okay. And I'm going to drain the water heater. All right, John, you opened the faucets upstairs to break the vacuum? I sure did. Good. All right, Kevin is cleaning the cold water line with the emery cloth. All right, I'm going to cut this one. You sure you shut the water off? <laughs> I hope so. We're about to find out. Good. Now I just break the electrical and we can get it right out of here. Okay, boys, I'm an executive. You guys take it out of here. <laughs> All right, John, you and me. Thanks. And I'll tip it to me. You grab the bottom. Ready? All right, John, if you give me a hand, moving the new water heater into place. All right. A little bit there, slide it in there. Try to get this roughly aligned to the pipes up top. All right, we have two water connections to make. Here's our cold water feed into the tank. It's going to come down here into this T fitting. This is actually called a vacuum breaker, and that'll allow air in to break any vacuum so we won't damage the tank. Now, cold water comes down through this pipe, and inside of it is a dip tube. And that dip tube sends water all the way down to the bottom of the tank to put the coldest water into the bottom of the tank. Once the water is heated, it's going to come out through this tapping right here, and then this hot water line will reconnect right here to the house. Now, the manufacturer doesn't want us to put any extra heat on these connections, so we'll make these sort of connections outside. to tighten up these unions. There's two of them on the hot and the cold. And these come in really handy should you ever need to service the water heater in the future. Break the connections instead of having to cut the pipe. 
All right, let's turn on our water. All right, now we need to think about the electrical. All right, we're using the same 220 line, 30 amp that we used before for the old water heater. There's two hot legs and a ground. Uh, wire nuts on both these connections. Now the way any heat pump works is warm air comes across a cooling coil like this and it can bring with it humidity. So this ends up acting like a dehumidifier and one of the byproducts of that is condensate or water that we have to deal with. So it comes out through this tube and you normally would put it down into a floor drain or a sump pit but you don't have one. What we're going to do with it is run that line right over here to a condensate pump. You can see the line coming right here. There's a reservoir with a float and a little pump and it's going to pump out this discharge port into a tube like this that we will run up and over the doorway and right down here to the laundry drain. All right, Kevin, let's put the power back on. Okay. And there's also a filter that we should put in. This is an air filter. You got to make sure you keep clean, all right? Okay. All right, so we can see that it's powered up, and the default is that it's shooting for 120 degree water. Now, if you want it warmer, you hit the up button and then enter. And then this is also a default hybrid mode, and that's the one you want to keep it in. That means it's going to use the heat pump as much as possible and only bring on those conventional electric elements in periods of high demand. Hmm. Okay. You're in business. Yeah, and you're going to save some money with your new water heater.